welcome to Explore Biona. I'm Carolyn with Friends of Biona Wetlands and I want to welcome you to Summit to Sea, a video series where we're going to explore how water flows from the tops of the mountains, through our cities, and out to the ocean. Today, we're going to be exploring what a watershed is. We're going to start with a big picture view of water locally. To do that, we're going to need to take a bird's eye view, well actually, a satellite view. So what are you waiting for? Get up there! As we're getting higher and higher above Biona wetlands, the rest of the local area comes into view. To the north of us, we have the Santa Monica Mountains. To the east is downtown Los Angeles. To the west is the Pacific Ocean. And just south of us is the Westchester Bluffs. And if you lost where we left from, here is Biona Wetlands. Looking at this big picture and how it connects to watersheds, we think about water. Where does it go and how does it flow? If you hold up your arm to represent a mountain and a drop of rain falls upon it, where's it gonna go? It's gonna go downhill because of gravity. Water's always gonna flow downhill until it can't flow anymore. Just like water in a bowl, water dropped on any side of it, it will always flow to the bottom of the bowl and it's gonna start to form a lake. If our bowl was a funnel, it would form a river. It is this flow of water, always downhill to the lowest point that helps define a watershed. So let's see that definition. A watershed is an area of land that drains into a specific body of water, like a river, lake, or ocean. So let's break down our definition and apply it to our bird's eye view again. A watershed is an area of land. What types of land habitats do we have locally? There are mountains, of course, an important habitat where rain falls and flows downhill. A lot of our local area is urban habitat, where we live, go to school, and work. We also can't forget our wetland habitat of Biona wetlands. This includes the Biona freshwater marsh and saltwater marsh. That covers the land areas of our definition. The next part is draining into a specific body of water. With such an urban area, our creeks and rivers don't always look like creeks and rivers. But we do have water that flows from our high points to the one main body of water called Biona Creek. Biona Creek then drains into the ocean, which is another important habitat. We now have all of the pieces of our definition. Let's put it together. If we try to think of a watershed like a bowl, where are the highest edges? The top of the mountains is one side of the watershed bowl. The others are hard to see, but this is where they are. All of the water that falls and flows in this area eventually flows into Biona Creek, which is where we get the name of our watershed the Biona Creek Watershed. There are watersheds everywhere, and they're next to each other, fitting together like puzzle pieces. Thank you for joining me as we learned all about watersheds. If you want to learn more about the different habitats of the Biona Creek Watershed, including who lives there, how the water flows through, and how humans impact it, you can check out our other videos in this Summit to Sea series.